go over with you today before we get into the football part. Uh, obviously, we're uh, celebrating Veterans Day today, and um, I'll be going out to um, um, Fort Bliss, actually out to um, uh, Briggs, uh, the uh, 4th Brigade Combat Team of the 1st Cavalry Division, uh, nicknamed the Long Knife, which is what uh, we wear on the back of our helmets to signify and represent our soldiers in Iraq. 108 of the 3,000 that are over there from uh, Fort Bliss are coming in today at 1 o'clock. So I'll be going out there with uh, uh, our couple of football players to welcome them back and, and uh, provide some complimentary tickets for their families and, and, um, and uh, spouses. So I'm kind of excited to see them and welcome them back today. So that's why we moved the press conference up a little early today was so that I could get out there to be uh, out there on, on, on time. And the flight's been delayed a little bit, so <laughs> uh, we don't have to rush through it. Um, also, uh, this game is marks the last time 15 seniors will uh, be playing in the Sun Bowl, um, representing uh, UTEP minors, unless some play in the Texas versus the Nation game, which some will. Uh, but um, I want to make sure everybody gets there at 5.30. Uh, start, starting time is 5.30 Saturday night, a little different than our 7 o'clock time but we'll introduce the seniors uh, before the game. And then, of course, after the game, we'll have a, a tribute for our seniors on the video board. Uh, this is also uh, uh, West Texas Food Bank is uh, accepting canned goods and non-perishable items for the West Texas Food Bank uh, so that people will not go hungry in our area on Thanksgiving. And I'm requiring every player on the football team to go out and purchase or take from their um, shelves in their kitchens of their apartments, which are usually empty, so they probably have to go buy some, uh, and bring, before they can suit up to the game, they're going to bring a canned good uh, to the game Saturday also. So we encourage everyone within listening to, um, distance to uh, bring a canned good or canned goods or whatever uh, to the game Saturday late afternoon at 5.30. Chance for us to give back to El Paso and El Paso has been so good to us and uh, I might just say that now we've been uh, at Rice Stadium where they had a Super Bowl um, and we've been to uh, the Superdome, where they've had a Super Bowl, right? 75,000-seat uh, arena is beautiful uh, place. They've done a wonderful job in, in um, uh, redoing the, the uh, Superdome. But uh, there is, the big difference I see wherever we have been has been uh, one thing, not that our stadium isn't nice here and beautiful, but the one thing that's a big difference is the fans. And uh, the El Paso fans, even in New Orleans, uh, we had a lot of fans there. Every place we've been, there's been tremendous support, and uh, we really appreciate it. And that's the big difference. That's the selling point we have about this community is the community itself and the people that live here and the, and the fans are just the best. They're just the best. Um, real quiet after the game uh, in our locker room. You could hear a pin drop on that airplane coming home. We had a real bunch of disappointed minors. Uh, we didn't play well enough to win that game. Uh, they played better than we did. It seems like we played uh, trying not to lose rather than just free-flowing it, playing with uh, confidence and aggressiveness. Uh, we didn't play like that the whole game. We were ready to go. I was pleased with our preparation. I was pleased that we took it serious. Uh, we were uh, intense before the game. Um, we had lots of energy, but we just simply didn't make the plays when we, when we had to make the plays. And we didn't play or as coach as good as we are capable of coaching and playing. And um, 
they're not bad. We thought we could, to win the game, would have to stop their running back, and I thought we played pretty well against the run. He carried the ball 38 times, and I think he will remember every inch that he had against the Miners because we hit him pretty good. The play-action pass killed us. We were not at any one time during the game did anybody have a guy running free, wide open, uncovered. We had, a, we had the guys on him. They just went up and made the plays, and we didn't make the plays. I had chances for interceptions, uh, didn't make the interceptions. Uh, did not play our typical game in special teams with coverage. Uh, um, I made, I think, a, cu a few, two key mistakes coaching uh, by going for the field goal, um, um, and we didn't get that. And then when they faked the punt, we could have been in safe punt, but instead we were coming with a play that was actually de designed to stop that middle return. We had two people twisting right where the middle, re middle guy faked the punt and ran, but one of the guys didn't twist for some reason and, and uh, that left the hole there. Um, so there's a few things that obviously I would like to do better, a few things that the um, players would like to do better. Main thing would be we'd like to have scored more points than they did, but um, wasn't to be. And um, um, so we lost, lost a chance on a great opportunity. Questions about that fine game down in New Orleans? Uh, I don't think it's going to affect him at all. I don't know what Lauren's status is right now. Um, he felt a lot better yesterday, uh, Lauren Sam did. So, um, and people don't realize, you know, he, he wore an ankle brace to the on the bus to the New Mexico State game. I think I told you about that maybe, Brad. I said, take that brace off. I don't want people to think I'm inhumane coach, you know. And he played that game. So I don't know if he'll be able to play or not. But uh, it, it'll be hard to design the offense if he doesn't practice too much this week. We'll see how he does. But I don't think it's going to really change uh, the way Trevor uh, approaches a game. We've got a lot of weapons we just need to execute and, and get the ball to our weapons. Again, Moturi made another touchdown catch, and, and that's uh, he's on a string now that's real, real good. And, and um, we didn't turn the ball over um, offensively but one time, uh, and that was good. Um, and Marcus Thomas ran like a man. Um, like a, a player, he he really ran hard and really ran well. Very pleased with his performance. Was the amount of younger players rushing the ball kind of dangerous to the Gosh, I don't know. I don't know if that's going on or not. I don't really haven't really noticed that or not. Um, we have 15 seniors, so that's not too many, you know. So. Uh, um, but I think we've shown a lot of leadership. They, they, uh, they wanted to win. Guys like James Riley and Q Demps and Jeremy Jones and, and those guys, I mean, they were Joe West. I mean, they, they played hard. Didn't play great all the time, but, but they played hard and they, they want to win. There's Jake Sears is playing tremendous in special teams, uh, just playing his heart out and making plays and encouraging the guys. Uh, there was no nitpicking, no pointing the fingers. We have good character, good chemistry on the team. So far, as good as, much better than teams I've had that, have we lost four in a row now? That's four straight. That's tough, you know. That's tough on a, on a team. And still hold together and still not be pointing fingers. 